Hi Leo, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your monthly reading for September 2021. I hope you guys are doing excellent. I want to take a second to remind you that this is not a personal reading. Um, it is a general reading, so it may not resonate with everyone. If you find out that it's not resonating with you, I encourage you to check your other signs and placements and see if those readings resonate a little better. In fact, it's a good idea to check those anyway. Um, it gives you a clearer picture of everything that's going on. But um, please don't try to force yourself into a story that is not yours. If it's not resonating with you, it's just not yours. Take what resonates, leave the rest for someone else. All right, so let's get started. Spirit, show me what is the key issue you would like Leo to know for the month of September. All right, so you have the strength card in reverse. There's something maybe that you're feeling fearful about. Um, perhaps it's something that's not as strong if it's a connection as you would like it to be. Um, let's see. What's directly affecting this? What's directly affecting this? The Ace of Swords. Wow. Okay. So the truth. Truth is affecting it. Um, could also be communication, uh, clarity. Let's continue. What's happened in the past that directly affects this? Seven of Swords reverse. Yeah, you got the truth on something here, Leo. Something that was deceitful, something that wasn't um, on the up and up came out in the past. And I think that it may have hit some fear buttons for you, but it's because spirit wanted you to know this. This truth that you got, it is being spirit guided. Um, why is all this happening? Why is all this happening for Leo? The Eight of Cups. Because you're walking away from something. Yeah, most likely something that you found out. You got the truth about it. It was deceitful. It really triggered you, weakened the connection, and now you're walking away. Yeah, it's not it's not everything you had thought it would be. Um, what's on your mind, Leo? What's on your mind? Five of Wands and the Six of Cups reverse. You're thinking about letting somebody go, somebody that you're in conflict with. I feel like whatever um, came out just opened up like a, a storm, like a bee's nest, and everybody got stung. And so you're, you're thinking about that conflict. Um, for some of you, it could be there's some form of competition here. But there's a sense of not really knowing that this was going to be such a painful experience. And now you just want to let it go. That you're thinking of releasing and letting this go and just walking away from whatever this is. Um, you know, the thing is, is that I feel like there's somebody in the situation that's just standing back and watching this whole thing take place. And like you are feeling wounded. Other people might be feeling wounded in this, but somebody's watching this and just, you know, they're, and you know it. You see it. It's not, I, I feel like it's not you because I feel like this was painful for you. You feel somewhat stung here. All right, so you're considering letting this person go. Um, and it could be the person who started the conflict is now stepping back. And that's a mean thing to do. Um, it's, but they would be stepping back and watching the conflict take place. And you just want to let go of this whole experience. Let's see what's happening in September that you don't see coming. Spirit, what's going on in September that Leo doesn't see? We have the Nine of Pentacles. So you're going to be spending a period by yourself. But when I say that, Leo, there's a sense here of um, there's a sense here of you being very prosperous in this time. I don't think you're happy about being alone. Um, but I feel like you are going to be, you know, methodically building up your finances. I feel like you might be putting a wall between yourself and others, though. Um, so be careful with that. We'll clarify. Let's see how you're showing up, Leo. How's Leo showing up? 
page of pentacles in the reverse you're you're not offering anybody anything if uh <laughs> you may feel a little a little bit of a, a loss financially but if you do don't stress on that leo because i think your money is going to be good but there's you're not really trying to extend yourself to anyone right now you're kind of pulled back let's see the energy coming towards you what's coming towards leo what's coming towards leo what or who show me oh the fool somebody wants to take a leap of faith and they're just as happy about doing it as they can be yeah, they're just, they want to just take a risk with you. So you got somebody coming towards you that wants to take a risk. Um, let's see what Spirit's advice is. King of Swords. Spirit is saying, um, get the truth. Spirit is saying um, that, you know, because the King of Swords is very strategic. So you're being guided here to be very strategic. Make sure that you have the truth in the situation. You are being guided, um, but stay a little cool. Stay a little distance uh, until you get the truth, until you know exactly what's taking place here. And be strategic in your decisions. Make your decisions with the head, not with the heart um, in this instance. Let's see the outcome at the end of the month. Seven of Pentacles. So being patient, waiting to see what's going to occur. There's, this, there's loyalty involved here as well, um, but be impatient. There's, there's seeds that have been planted in the month of September, will be planted in the month of September. Some of those have to do with wisdom and clarity. Um, some have to do with finances, but there's a sense of being patient, allowing your finances to grow, allowing clarity to come. Uh, and and also, you you have to water it. You have to... In order for something to grow, you have to feed it. So, you know, there's a sense of you doing that. Bottom of the deck, wow, we have the emperor. Wow, bossing up, taking charge. This is underlying energy. Um, I do feel like uh, there's some stubbornness that's taking place here. Yeah, definitely a little bit of stubbornness. Um, you could be dealing with an Aries as well. You know, fellow fire sign and Aries. But I, I feel like, um, I feel like I also heard something about a Taurus. Uh, let's see what else we have. We have um, air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius is out. Um, yeah. So, but it doesn't have to be any of those, just, just so you know. But I do see the underlying energy here is somebody who's kind of bossing up, taking charge of the situation. So, all right. I think that's that's most likely you, Leo. All right, so let's see um, let's see what we have. Okay, why is the strength card here in reverse? Okay, if there's fears, you'll be dropping those fears because it's burdensome. Queen of Swords. So again, I'm seeing that energy of making sure that somebody comes correct, um, whether it's business or whether it's personal. There's a fear here that if you um, do boss up, if you take spirit's advice and you are strategic, if you listen and cut out things that are not serving you, that um, I, I think you might be a little fearful to do that um, in the current time. But I do see you actually doing it, and it's going to resolve a lot of these problems. Let's see why is the Ace of Swords here. We have the King of Cups that just popped out. You could be dealing with a water sign. That would be a Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces. Um, but the, there's a truth here that's come out. Clarity has come out. Somebody's made a decision in love. Somebody has made a big decision in love, or, or they're trying to. Um, they may be resisting it, actually, a little bit. But there is love in this situation. I also feel like somebody is keeping an eye on you. This could have been, um, for some of you, someone who didn't choose you, even though you're a soulmate, is keeping an eye on you, and you've discovered this. You're clear about it. You've gotten clarity on that. There's a truth that has come out. Um, why is the Seven of Swords here in reverse? 
Why is the Seven of Swords in reverse? All right, so we have the Four of Wands and we have the Seven of Pentacles. Now, you have the Seven of Pentacles in your outcome. So, I feel like in the past there was a connection, a long term connection, most likely. Um, marriage possibly or a long-term connection that was heavily invested in but there was deceit within that um, some of you I think you invested with somebody who was married and you didn't know it you found out I don't think that you had any idea so marriage is affecting this um, and I feel like you know there is a um, sense here of having invested and being patient some of you were patiently um, waiting for like a marriage proposal or for the relationship to become more grounded and move into a committed relationship and this person wasn't being honest so there's dishonesty related to this all right and that's in the past but I feel like you have clarity here like I said for some of you you weren't chosen in this connection or someone wouldn't make a choice. There's love in the connection, but and who, whoever this is is keeping an eye on you, by the way. Um, why is the Eight of Cups here? This is all happening because you've walked away from something. Something that wasn't, you know, working for you. We have the thought, yep, it's that conflict. You've walked away from some, you know, competing or um, you might have been, felt you were in competition with other people, or you may have um, had a lot of conflict with this person. I do think you waited for a very long time. There's a sense of waiting and being patient, a lot of waiting here. And then you just walked away from it, ending the conflict. Your mind is still on this conflict, though, as you're releasing this. Let's see why that's here. Yeah, because I feel like this was hurtful to you. Yeah, Page of Swords, you found something out. It caused you to give up on the situation, and you also um, didn't want the conflict. Becoming single, nine of, okay, so nine of um, wands reverse, nine of pentacles. So there's you deciding if you're going to become single. So you found something out. You're trying to figure out you know, are you going to just give up? This is what's going through your mind. Are you going to give up on this? Because there's a lot of conflict here. And then we have the star card in reverse. So giving up on someone from your past, giving up on someone that you share history with, becoming single. Um, what I'm seeing is that that's exactly what you are going to do for most of you. Right now, you're in the thought process of it. Um, let's see. And it's all because of something you discovered here, a truth, or a truthful conversation. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Show me what's happening in the month of September, please. Okay. Yep. Letting your past go. Six of uh, Cups in the reverse. Knight of Cups. There's that five of swords again that we see down here. And the two of cups reversed. Okay, so I feel like you are going to, in the month of September, you're going to let this person go. You're going to let your past go. You're thinking about it currently. Thinking about becoming single. You are going to go ahead and follow through with that. I can see that, you know... You may focus on your work. You may even use your work in order to kind of build a wall um, against other people. The person that, um, there is an offer of love that's coming in. So it may be with this person, um, but I can see that whether it's with this person or it's with someone else, there is going to be an offer of love coming in. The person that you have been in conflict with, because it's been a very painful conflict and there's been deceit involved in it, you're going to end that. You're going to end that. You're going to release this person, this situation or person, and it's because of the deceit. It's because of this conflict. 
Let's see how you're showing up because I feel like you're kind of walling yourself off a little bit, Leo. You know, your card is the strength card um, as far as major arcana, and it's in the reverse. So this is not a normal situation for you guys. Normally, you guys are just like glowing and up, you know, and very strong. So you're, whatever this situation is, has kind of put you in a, in a reverse position. All right, so you're showing up as really not offering anything to anyone. You're kind of, like I said, walling yourself off. Um, with the Queen of Wands, though, we have the Queen of Wands and we have the Queen of Cups in the reverse. If you have a choice between a um, fire sign and a water sign, I feel like you're going to release the water sign. Um, and you'll go for the Queen of Wands. You'll go for the person who is a fire sign. Um, because you believe that the Queen of Cups is toxic. But that's not for most of you. Most of you guys are kind of shutting your heart off. Because you've been wounded here. There's a sense of releasing toxic patterns, toxic things. You may feel that love is just not working out for you. And you may kind of go towards passion instead. I do see you really bossing up, though. Um, for most of you, I see you kind of bossing up. Um, some of you may even be opening new businesses. You may experience a little bit of a loss in the beginning with that. Um, I also see, see you guys really embracing that glow up. But it's going to be difficult for you. It's going to be really difficult for you. Some of you feel you can't have passion and love. Um, and you've been hurt with in regard to love. So you're kind of shut down a little bit. Now you have the energy coming towards you as somebody that just wants to take a risk with you. So let's see what that's about. What is the energy coming towards Leo? Somebody's going to reveal a secret to you. They're going to reveal something. All right, we have judgment. We have the five of cups reversed. And we have the high priestess in reverse. So, yeah, somebody wants to take a risk with you. Unfortunately, this isn't a new person. This is a, someone from your past because we have the judgment card. This is someone, it doesn't feel like the person that you have been in conflict with, though. It does feel like someone from your past. I think that's where this offer of love is coming from. This would be someone you've known and you you thought this was over and done. And this person pops up. This person is going to, when they pop up, they're going to make you feel so much better about whatever has happened. Um, they, they feel, this is someone that feels um, in the past they were very sad because they lost you. And they're going to reveal their feelings for you. I, I don't see you. I don't think you see this coming. It's not the person you're in conflict with right now. This is someone though from your past is going to pop up and have, they want a new beginning. And the energy that they're bringing, Leo, is an energy of like young and happiness. They're, they're definitely um, somebody that is willing to take a risk, wanting to take a risk, and wanting to bring this back together with you. They're going to reveal, you know, their feelings. They're going to reveal what happened in the past. It's a different person, though. All right, so let's, um, why is the King of Swords here? Because this is Spirit's advice. Oh, Wheel of Fortune, that's nice. So you've got some changes coming. Why is the King of Swords here? And they're positive changes as well. Why is the King of Swords here? One more card, please. Okay. All right. So you've got the Death card. You've got the Moon. And you've got the Wheel of Fortune. So Spirit's advice is to, you know, let something go. End something. Because what you don't see coming, what you're unaware of, is that things are going to change in your favor when, once you do that. There is a big change coming, and it's going to be in your favor. I think it's related to someone that you have known from the past, and they're just going to come in, and you you won't see them coming. And Spirit is saying, you know, 
in, implement the truth, the truth that you discovered, the truth that you found out, you have to be strategic in your decisions. You can't just use your heart in this decision. Spirit is saying, you know, cut, cut someone out here that has been less than truthful, that's been deceitful, that you've been in conflict with. Because what you are unaware of, what's coming towards you, is, you know, someone else, a new person. Well, not new, but it's somebody that you have known from the past. They're going to bring very positive energy in. They're going to reveal their feelings for you. They want to take a risk. They want to have a comeback around. And it, it's actually going to be in your favor. It's going to be a good thing. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Yeah, you, you're not going to see this coming. So most of you guys are going to see and hear this video and you're going to be like, I don't believe it. I don't think it's happening. I mean, it could happen at the very end of the month, but you're, you're not going to see it coming. You really aren't. All right. You have the seven of rods reversed. You have the tower and you have the world. Okay. So spirit um, has given you guidance. Should you take that guidance? I do see you very patiently overcoming all these problems, even though you've got a tower moment coming. I don't think this is a bad tower moment though. Leo, what I'm seeing is that you're going to have a tower moment because you really do not see this person coming back into the picture. It's going to be a positive tower moment. So again, you're going to end something in order to begin something new. And I'm seeing that over and over. It's like a repeated pattern that I'm seeing in the monthly readings this go around. Ending something old in order to bring in something new. Now, in your case, the new is someone from your past. Um, and you do not see it coming. Spirit is saying it's going to be a positive change. It's going to be a good thing. So there's that offer of love. Bottom of the deck, look at that. We have the Ten of Coins. All right, so that is long-term wealth, long-term stability. It, it's a good thing. For some of you, it's the emperor that is coming in. So there could be some twin flame um, type of energy here. Um, so it might be your divine masculine coming in. Um, but it's going to be a, a long-term connection. It's going to be a long-term, if it's a financial situation, it's going to be long-term wealth. And that's the underlying energy. So let's go ahead now and I'm going to pull some advice from the angels for you, Leo. Spirit, I'm pulling for Leo. Pulling for Leo for the month of September, please. Leo. disruptive whatever it is all right have confidence and that might be what you're kind of lacking right now too with the strength card in reverse that makes a lot of sense it says have confidence moving forward does not necessarily require you to have confidence in yourself confidence in God is enough along with knowing that God works through you and with you in all ways Lean upon us if your confidence wavers, and we will buoy your courage and faith. All right, that is so appropriate. So you might be feeling a bit insecure about this situation, but spirits say move forward. Rely upon spirit. Rely upon the angels. Move forward anyway, okay? All right, I hope this has been helpful for you, Leo. Um, you got some things coming that you just don't see. It is an offer of love. So that period of being single is only going to be short-lived unless you want it to be bigger. That's up to you. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Smash that like button. Share the video as well. And um, drop me a comment. I read all of your comments. And until I see you in your weekly readings, namaste.